Our out of this world lead is truly beyond this world, 390 light years away, in fact. For context, one light year is equivalent to 6 trillion miles. In humanity's relentless pursuit of unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos, we've embarked on a quest that goes beyond time itself, seeking answers to age-old questions woven into the fabric of existence. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its unblinking eye, recently detected a glimpse of a structure predating the birth of stars. This celestial object appeared to be older than the universe itself, raising more questions than it answers. How could a structure exist that predates our universe, or is the Big Bang Theory at fault? Join us as we embark on an odyssey guided by the revelations of the James Webb Telescope. The secrets of a 13.8 billion year old structure await, and the journey to unravel cosmic mysteries has only just begun. In a distant corner of the cosmos, roughly 200 light years away, an ancient star called HD 140283 resides near the Libra constellation. This stellar traveler moves briskly through space, offering intriguing glimpses into its tumultuous past. Some 12 billion years ago, during a time when our Milky Way was still in its infancy, it absorbed a dwarf galaxy that once called it home. Yet what truly captivates our cosmic curiosity about HD 140283 isn't just its speedy journey but its astonishing age. Among the celestial entities we've observed, it stands as one of the oldest, earning the endearing moniker Methuselah Star, akin to the biblical figure Methuselah, who legend has it lived for 969 years. Initially estimated to be a staggering 16 billion years old, the latest calculations suggest a slightly younger age of 14.46 billion years, with an uncertainty of 0.8 billion years. This revelation about its age puzzled astronomers. After all, the age of the universe, deduced from the cosmic microwave background, hovers around 13.8 billion years. This conundrum raised important questions about the star's age, the universe's age, and even the accuracy of our dating methods. Let's break it down. Figuring out the age of celestial objects can be a real puzzle. Take stars, for instance. Like the sun, they're like eternal light bulbs, maintaining their glow, temperature, and size for billions of years, making them tricky to age date. Astronomers play cosmic detectives, using changes in brightness and color as clues, matching these with models predicting how stars change over time. One age giveaway is how fast a star twirls, like a wheel slowing down from friction, stars do too. By comparing the spinning speeds of stars at different ages, astronomers have figured out a cool trick called gyrochronology. Stars also spill their age secrets through magnetic gossip, flares and bursts of energy on a star's surface are like a star's youthful enthusiasm. As a star ages, this show slows down. Astronomers, being the space sleuths they are, use advanced techniques like astroseismology, it's like eavesdropping on a star's inner conversations, listening to vibrations caused by waves traveling through its insides. These vibrations spill the beans on the star's age. For instance, applying this cosmic eavesdropping, astronomers roughly clock the sun at 4.58 billion years. Now, let's revisit Methuselah star. The ancient aura around it isn't just random. Astronomers tagged it with a crazy old age by checking out its cosmic neighborhood. Stars can be split into categories based on how much bling or heavy elements like iron they have. Our sun is a bit of a metal head, belonging to population 1 stars. Methuselah star, on the other hand, is like an old-school rock star from Population 2, rocking fewer heavy elements. It's this stellar bling-out that helps astronomers play cosmic archaeologists, deciphering the age tales of these celestial beings. Now, imagine a group of stars, the theoretical Population 3, which scientists believe might be like the universe's rare gems. While they're still hiding backstage and haven't made an appearance in our telescope spotlight, astronomers suspect these stars might be the rock stars of minimalism, containing almost no heavy elements. To understand this stellar lineup, let's rewind to the universe's early days after the Big Bang. Imagine a cosmic kitchen filled mostly with hydrogen and helium, the universe's basic ingredients, about 92% hydrogen and 8% helium. Or if we weigh them, roughly 75% hydrogen and 25% helium. In this cosmic symphony, the first actors on stage were population 3 stars. They were massive and hot, burning through their cosmic fuel swiftly, transforming hydrogen and helium into heavier elements. When these early cosmic giants exploded, they scattered these heavy elements into the vast cosmic space. Next in line were population 2 stars, forming a bit later but still in the universe's early days. Their original materials were light on heavy elements, especially iron. Many of them danced through their stellar life cycles, bursting into supernovas and adding more heavy elements to the universal mix. 
Finally, the Population 1 stars, including our Sun, emerged as cosmic latecomers. They formed from enriched gas clouds, mingling with remnants from the earlier Population 2 stars. Some of these Population 2 stars also went out with a bang, contributing more heavy elements to the cosmic recipe. Now, the big question, does this stellar story throw a cosmic curveball at the Big Bang Theory? It's a head-scratcher, but here's the twist. Considering the uncertainties, there's a 70% chance that Methuselah star, the ancient celestial wanderer, could be somewhere between 13.66 and 15.36 billion years old. The lower end even aligns with the age of the entire universe. And there's a 30% chance that this ancient celestial wanderer's age is playing outside the cosmic rulebook. Similarly, there's a 15% chance it's not just a little outside the box, but even younger. Imagine rolling a regular six-sided die and hoping for that elusive six, statistically plausible, right? But regardless of these cosmic curveballs, what's certain is that Methuselah star is not just a cosmic veteran, it's the granddaddy of stars. We've managed to give it an age tag that's pretty darn precise. Now here's where it gets mind-bending. Instead of scratching our heads about whether Methuselah star could be a couple of billion years older than its galactic neighbors, let's flip the cosmic script. What if the universe itself isn't as young as we once thought? Wrapping our minds around 13.8 billion years is like trying to fathom the vastness of space itself. If we turn the entire history of the universe into a cosmic calendar, with the Big Bang as the most spectacular New Year's fireworks, Earth wouldn't even join the celestial bash until the last seconds of December 31st, human recorded history? Well, that's merely a blip in time, covering just the last 10 seconds. Our stellar detectives determine the universe's age by peering at ancient starlight born a few hundred million years post-Big Bang. As the universe stretches, it gives this light a cosmic makeover, known as redshift. Crunching the numbers on both distance and expansion, scientists declared a universal age of 13.8 billion years. But hold on, because the cosmic plot thickens. A cosmic whisper from the University of Ottawa suggests the universe might be a whopping 26.7 billion years old. Professor Rendra Gupta brings in a vintage theory from 1929, crafted by Swiss astronomer Fritz Zwicky, and it's shaking up our cosmic understanding. This theory throws a curveball, suggesting that as light particles, called photons, journey across the vastness of space and time, they lose some of their energy. Even though this idea doesn't perfectly align with what we've seen through our telescopes, Gupta proposes a cosmic compromise. He thinks we can blend this theory with our existing idea of an expanding universe, creating a sort of hybrid explanation for the redshift phenomenon. Now, fasten your seatbelts, because adjusting the universe's age to a whopping 26.7 billion years is no small feat Gupta adds another spice to the cosmic mix by combining the tired light theory with the concept of evolving coupling constants, a brainchild of theoretical physicist Paul Dirac. This concept suggests that how particles interact may have changed over the eons. And hey, scientists have a history of tweaking the cosmic clock. Back in the 1920s, Edwin Hubble thought the universe was just a mere 2 billion years old. We've come a long way since then, refining our cosmic math. Doubling the universe's age is like taking a giant leap in our cosmic understanding. But let's pause for a moment. Whether this new perspective becomes the cosmic norm is still up in the stars. Regardless of whether humanity's recorded history is a mere blip of 10 or 5 seconds in the grand scheme of the universe, one thing's clear, the cosmos is a treasure trove of ancient wonders and endless inspiration. Shifting our gaze to our cosmic backyard of the Milky Way, there's a captivating cosmic tango at play. Recent measurements hint that stars on the outskirts of our galaxy are strutting their stuff in slow motion compared to their counterparts in other galaxies. What's the cosmic scoop? Well, there are a couple of theories, and one whisper is that our Milky Way might be low on an invisible cosmic ingredient called dark matter, the elusive substance influencing the gravitational dance of celestial objects. There's a cosmic puzzle involving dark matter, the mysterious substance we can't see but that seems to play a gravitational tug-of-war in the cosmos. One possibility shaking our cosmic understanding is that maybe we've been looking at dark matter the wrong way. Our cosmic compass might be pointing in the wrong direction, and the amount of dark matter in the Milky Way could be a little off compared to other galaxies. While astronomers used to think of the Milky Way as a cosmic heavyweight, brimming with dark matter, they're now starting to suspect that maybe our galaxy is on a bit of a dark matter diet. The new story? There's less dark matter in the Milky Way than in its galactic peers. If this new idea holds true, it could mean the Milky Way's dark matter halo, the invisible sphere of mass surrounding the galaxy, might be less dense or perhaps structured differently than we once thought. 
This has far-reaching consequences for understanding not only our galaxy's dynamics but also how galaxies form, evolve, and interact. Dark matter plays a key role in holding galaxies together, like cosmic glue, so a leaner halo could influence everything from star formation rates to the speed at which stars orbit the galactic center. But there's a twist. Our galaxy isn't isolated, it's part of a cosmic neighborhood with its nearest giant, the Andromeda Galaxy, hurtling toward us at 250,000 miles per hour, slated to collide in about 4 billion years. This impending galactic collision has fascinated scientists, but if the Milky Way's dark matter halo is thinner than expected, the cosmic dance between these two galactic giants might be far more complex than anticipated. It could change how the merger unfolds and how the stars and dark matter between the two galaxies interact during the collision. To put this in perspective, galaxies aren't just islands of stars floating in space. They're cosmic ecosystems, with dark matter providing the underlying structure that shapes their form and evolution. The interaction between dark matter and ordinary matter, the stuff that makes up stars, planets, and us, influences everything from the formation of spiral arms to the distribution of star clusters. If the Milky Way's dark matter halo is less massive, it could even mean we've been underestimating how much dark matter lurks in other parts of the universe, possibly skewing our understanding of cosmic balance. This new perspective challenges us to rethink the role of dark matter not only in our galactic neighborhood but across the cosmos. Scientists may need to revisit old models of galaxy formation and evolution, recalibrating the way they simulate the universe's grand structure. The Milky Way, once thought to be the archetype for spiral galaxies, might turn out to be an outlier in terms of dark matter content. At the same time, the hunt for dark matter itself is intensifying. Physicists have been searching for elusive dark matter particles for decades, from deep underground experiments to space-based observations. These particles, which don't emit, absorb, or reflect light, are incredibly hard to detect directly, but their gravitational effects on galaxies are undeniable. If the Milky Way's dark matter content is indeed lower than expected, it could prompt new theories about what dark matter actually is, and how it interacts with visible matter on a galactic scale. However, despite the intriguing data, the idea of a lighter Milky Way is still in its early stages. More observations and simulations are needed to confirm whether our galaxy truly has less dark matter than its cosmic counterparts, or if there are other factors at play that we haven't yet considered. Meanwhile, astronomers are also piecing together another cosmic mystery, why some galaxies seem to have little to no dark matter at all. A few years ago, researchers discovered a strange galaxy, NGC 1052, DF2, that appeared to have almost no dark matter. This discovery shook the scientific community, as it contradicted everything we thought we knew about how galaxies are held together. Was this galaxy a fluke, or did it point to a fundamental gap in our understanding of the cosmos? As we dig deeper into the nature of dark matter, these puzzles could lead to breakthroughs not only in astrophysics but in fundamental physics itself. Some theorists suggest that dark matter might not be a single type of particle, but rather a mix of different particles, or even that our understanding of gravity might need tweaking to explain these anomalies. Others speculate that dark matter could be linked to entirely new forces or dimensions beyond our current understanding. As for the James Webb Space Telescope, its advanced instruments are providing us with unprecedented views of the universe, from the early moments after the Big Bang to the distribution of dark matter in distant galaxies. By studying the light from these ancient cosmic structures, Webb helps us map the unseen, revealing the patterns of dark matter and allowing scientists to refine their models of the universe's evolution. In the next decade, with new tools like the European Space Agency's Euclid mission and the Vera C. Rubin Observatory, astronomers hope to create even more detailed maps of dark matter, tracing its distribution across vast cosmic scales. These efforts will help us better understand not only the Milky Way's unique dark matter halo but also the role dark matter plays in shaping the universe as a whole. Ultimately, the mysteries surrounding dark matter, the age of the universe, and ancient stars like Methuselah challenge us to keep questioning, to push the boundaries of what we know about our place in the cosmos. As we look deeper into the universe, we continue to uncover new layers of complexity that make us reconsider our most fundamental assumptions about how the universe works. With each discovery, we inch closer to solving some of the most profound questions in science, though the answers may be even more surprising than we ever imagined.